And here I am. Jeez, that took you a while. Consider your coffee on the house. So? So what? Oh, yeah. You remember Lana, right? This weekend, some of her friends and I are going to her beach house. And I was wondering if you'd want to join in on the fun. Look, I hope you don't take this the wrong way, Petra. But we're not that close. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm currently quite busy. On Monday, I have an art exhibition, and if that goes well, they could offer me a job as an assistant professor at the Arcadia University of Fine Arts in Laurel Bay. A dream. It's fine. You're right. I guess I was simply looking for an excuse to keep in touch. But of course, a dropout like myself is quickly forgotten. Oh, I am sorry. I, <laughs> I wasn't trying to brag. What else is new? Maybe a new boyfriend? Uh, yes. Um, yeah, his, his name's Monty. He just moved back here a few days ago to help me out. He moved back here for you? Well, yeah. He said that he couldn't bear to be away from me. So, um, we're thinking about relocating to Laurel Bay together. If, of course, everything works out. Did you force yourself on him as well? What? I'm just curious now. Did you do to him what you did to Victor? I'm sure his will wasn't as easily broken, but a hungry sneak like you had to find a way. <laughs>
I constantly forget how rich you are, Lana. Oh, stop it, Franny Boo. My cousin Madsen visited this area last summer with his friends. Now I understand what he meant by how beautiful it is. Oh yeah, that wild vacation he told us about. <laughs> In retrospect, that story feels like a distorted dream. Perhaps we should have invited more people. Perhaps. No way. Large groups make me feel so... Excited? Suicidal. If you're lucky, you'll drown. I wish. <laughs> Unfortunately, death has yet to reap my body and spirit. Oh my god. Stop talking about death already. They certainly have a unique friendship. Oh, definitely. But you'll quickly get used to the constant bickering and longing for death. Wow. It's beautiful, right? Oh my god! They already arrived! Wait, is that? What is Luca doing here? I knew you'd be annoyed with him here, but um, he revealed that he and Victor went to the same high school. I hope you'll forgive me. Hmm. Actually, that's ideal. They are due for a reunion. Petra, are you okay? Could you kindly leave the two of us alone for a moment? As you desire, Franny boy. Let's go, Lana. I did this for you, so good luck! I had no part in this. I vow on the grave of Edgar Allan Poe. Of course not. You never betray me in this way. When the time comes, I'll put a sword through your heart. Exactly. Should we simply leave? Run away? No. I am many things, from a daisy to a vulture. But I am not a coward. So you'll face your death penalty? I didn't expect anything less. Indeed. And, as is tradition, it's time for my last meal. Luca, is it really you? What are you doing here? What a silly question. I came to see you. Can I give you a hug? <laughs> I'm a bit wet from the water. I brought spare clothes. Victor, Monty, Monty, Victor. You must be the sparrow that everyone's talking about. Pleasure to meet you, kiddo. Kiddo? Hmm. 
My, my. How vintage. I love how nostalgic this thing is. And this is the perfect opportunity for a photo album. Something tells me your phone is dead. I won't take pics of your donkey ears. Don't worry. Hey! Victor, why are you hiding behind Monty? Uh, no, I'm not. Wait! You both look so cute standing like that. Don't move. Please stop. Wait, I want to be in the photo as well. Donkey ears, join in! Oh, oh, shit, there's a timer on this thing. <laughs> Smile, everyone! So, when did you move? It was about a month ago. I'm still getting used to the city, so this calm spot is such a nice change of pace. Had you stayed in touch, I could have been your tour guide. <laughs> wink wink, nudge nudge. So how's your dad doing? Good. It's been a while since mom passed, but he's still not really over it. In some ways, it haunted us though. We better head inside, it's getting late. We now have the rest of our life to make up for lost time, so there's no need to rush. You're such a theater nerd. So glad we're all having fun on this short trip. Not all of us, it seems. Speaking of that, what's going on? On the drive here, they both appeared to be in good spirits. The vampires. <laughs> it's not like they don't enjoy it that way. So just let them stay in the shadows. And here I was thinking I'd do Petra a favor. Now she's hiding while Frank keeps her company. I don't understand. Monty and Batra used to date a few years ago, but then Monty decided to move. Sick of the city, wanting more, who knows what, but without her. If you ask me, he escaped the Vampire Queen and her knight unscathed. Maybe I should go talk to her. Allow me to do it instead. She's in the study room. I'm glad to see you're doing well, friend. Just go ahead and put an end to this. You shattered my heart once. Now do me a favor and end things with her as well.
Emily gazed long on the splendors of the world she was quitting, of which the whole magnificence seemed thus given to her sight, only to increase her regret on leaving it. For her, Valancourt alone was in that world. To him alone her heart turned, and for him alone fell her bitter tears. I'm sorry. For what? That I can't love you. Can't or never could? I'd say both. So, it was all a sham. <laughs> Your apologies are meaningless even after you left me. I had to. Had to? You depend on me too much. Ah! <laughs> That's not an excuse for breaking my heart. Not even my heart, no. A stranger's heart that's beating in my chest as we speak. Ugh, Petra. You fooled me. I was there for you. You needed someone, both you and friend. You could say whatever you want, but in the end you just left. Not even saying goodbye like a coward. Just leave already. You've met someone you can love, even if that someone is a monster. I already know what happened between her and Victor. She regrets it. What about you? Do you regret hurting me? by yourself I'm just gathering my thoughts is everything okay I barely saw you all weekend yeah are you upset with me that took you a long time to figure out but I didn't you did nothing as usual and as usual you are puzzled by the reality that your actions have consequences even the little ones Please don't pout like a child. I'm not in the mood for that right now. Why are you acting this way? I thought we were friends. Don't flatter yourself. To put it in words, even you would understand. I have no need for someone like you. And it appears that you found your tribe. Does Petra think so too? Did you honestly believe you had a chance with her?
What is this all about now? favor? Really? I believe friend made it very clear that both of you have no need for me. I may have spoken too soon. You shouldn't have spoken at all. Coward. Weakling. Sissy. Wimp. Pussy. You're free to go and continue living your miserable excuse for a life. You may also stay and give your life meaning for once. <laughs> You're already broken, so shatter and make a mess. Let us demolish this room, darling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 